Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones setups for today. So um, here's the last day of the month, and uh, we've got a whole host of data coming through this month. Um, sorry, not this month, but uh, to this week. Uh, and that is just there's CPI, there's the Feds, there's a whole lot of stuff coming out. Um, if we just look at the monthly, trend is up. We do have a monthly level right here. It's obviously what. Uh, price is looking for we have tested it already um, and that is at 32 to 60 uh, look at the oscillators here on the monthly that is looking relatively bearish um, and then you've got this bearish outlook here as well with these three red bars right now so the jury is still out though because we are in a very strong uptrend as you can see and uh, this is just a, a massive consolidation this was a flag in 2022 we've had a pullback to test it but we haven't really got going again so now this you can see where the the bearish narrative is coming from and market's going to crash and everything else that everybody's saying but nevertheless you know we need to keep those things in the back of our mind but what we're looking for is to make recurring profits on a daily basis if possible but preferably on a weekly basis so you need to sometimes just eliminate the noise out your head so look here this is the level we were looking at yesterday 32900 we have closed above it so it's kind of null and void and then we have a second level which is right there which we are nowhere near so short story we are in a downward trend we should be looking for shorts and we should be looking for shorts of structure this was the first area to look at and here is the next area here 33162 trouble is it's the end of the month um, and when you look at a monthly bar or you look at any candle you know there is typically a higher probability of that candle forming a tail of some sort rather than closing on its low it does happen you can see it does happen there but typically there is some form of a tail that happens so right now this what we have from yesterday is a tail so from where prices all the way down to uh, last week's low is pretty much a monthly tail at the moment so this is the last day of the month so very possible that that happens we've got this monthly level here which we haven't touched yet so v reversal is also rare and we're in a downtrend so the probability of a move down is fairly high that's basically what i'm getting to um okay so we'll have to just look at the the micro levels i'm just going to add a three hour one in there you can see there is a fairly decent three hour level and that is a decent rejection bar just too late in the trading session for me to take that as an opportunity to short this uh, you could possibly if you wanted to it's 200 point stop loss but that is fairly big and then you've got a lot of data coming out you've got eurozone data coming out today which could also impact this so while we think about this don't forget to just smash that like button for me it does help us grow the channel and uh, getting down to the hour uh, yesterday we were looking for rejections right so we were looking for rejections firstly off here we got something that started brewing and uh, good examples you're looking there's my inside bar so my entry would have been a break below that or the stop there so that never happened continued through to the next level which uh, you would have expected this level to to happen 32900 that didn't happen but again hindsight being the perfect science where's the next level here's the next level and you've got the 150 ema there so that is always an indication that that is a much stronger level than what was below you so you know if you manage to drop get in here 100 point risk now you'd only be 50 points in at the moment but I don't trust it at the moment. V reversals are rare, but I'd want to see a double top here. And the challenge with that is if I, you know, you look at a double top, it's going to be looking at a big cup and handle as well. The zone that we're in is very, very strong. So I would take everything with a pinch of salt, get down to the 15 minute. And you can see here on the 15 minute, there was an entry here, but you would have been stopped out. Um, and that just again comes to this 150. You know, one minute you 
you're above the moving averages like this and you're coming to 150 and you break the 150, nine times out of ten coming back to test it is always going to work out. So there's something you've got to keep in the back of your mind and it's, it's sometimes it's a very difficult balancing act because you're looking for a trade on the hour and then you look for your entry on the 15 minutes and it kind of takes you out. But the beauty about this is you know, if you taken if you jumped in there now you're risking 76 75 points anyway hindsight's always a perfect science you know, look at it you shouldn't have taken it but it could have actually just gone back to close the gap as well anyway so if we look at this on the 15 minute we should be looking for support for a move up so um, this is one of the levels there's multiple levels Below us, here's another one right here. So if you find support here at 32.820, then you would expect a, a bit of a move to the upside. But I'm more of the opinion that we're going to reject. Um, and just based on the three hour here. I'm more of the opinion that uh, we're going to reject this zone for a move to the downside. Look at this. And if you look, there's my swing high there. Look where my oscillators are. So I've got massive diversions here from this swing low to this swing low. So I am more of the opinion we're looking for shorts. We're looking for shorts in this zone. So if I come to the 15 minute, you know, yes, we're in an uptrend, but I'm still looking for shorts. This little move past here is just to frustrate you. So more than likely a re rejection of 32,993. If we do get through that, then it's definitely at 33.162. So that's kind of what I'm looking for for a move down. This is a big weekly gap. It's still open as well. So it's going to be a fairly strong magnet for us at the moment. So, yeah, that's kind of my outlook at the moment. I wouldn't touch this until the US Open. Just by the way, there's too much Euro data coming up. And uh, I would be looking for confirmation. So if you look at this on the hour, that's... That's good. Uh, it's a good setup there, but I'd want a second opinion, as I say. So I'd want a second rejection and uh, just pay attention to this crossover because this could indicate that we have a different uh, plan of action going on. In other words, a pullback to find support and then a move up. But for as long as we're between these moving averages, it's volatile. We can go either way, it's ranging. And this structure to the left, if you just go far left, you're going to see how it lines up with so much that's been going on over the last year. Okay, look at all this. Okay, anyway, that's kind of my confused outlook for today. Uh, definitely favoring the shorts, but wait for the data to come out and then look for the opportunities lower down. If we start getting up above 33.162, then you're probably going to find us trying to build a base there for a move higher. But for now, that's kind of my view at the moment. Hope it helps you somewhat. Um, if you don't see anything clear, just stay away from it. Rather wait, and then you'll find something that'll happen once the data is out and once the noise is out this week. Anyway, catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.